Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have dy over dx, which is the first derivative of y with respect to x, equals e to the power square root of x plus the square root of y. And we're going to try to find the relationship between x and y. So let's go ahead and write e to the square root of x plus square root of y as a product, because this is a separable equation. We can go ahead and separate these two variables like this. And then by cross multiplication, we get dy equals e to the power square root of x times e to the power square root of y times dx. And now we want to put the y's together and the x's together. So let's go ahead and bring this over to the left by the division. So we get dy divided by e to the power square root of y. Or I can probably write it as 1 over e to the power square root of y dy equals e to the power square root of x dx. And then now the left hand side can be written as e to the power negative square root of y by using negative exponents. And that equals e to the power square root of x dx. Great. What can we do with this? Since we separated the variables, we can go ahead and integrate both sides. So I'm going to keep the constant on the right hand side where the x is. You don't have to put the constant on both sides because the difference of two constants is also a constant. So now how do you integrate something like e to the power negative square root of y or e to the power square root of x? So we're going to use substitution here and now we're going to turn this into integration by parts, which could also be summarized as the di method. I'll show you how that works and then we'll go from there. Okay. Let's go ahead and deal with this first. And then the other one is going to be very similar. So let me show you the method with this one. So first step, we're going to replace square root of x with something like t. And then square both sides, x equals t squared. And now we're going to d both sides. So dx is going to be 2t dt. Remember the d means differentiate and multiply by the other d. So now if you solve for dx over dt, that's going to give you 2t. So the derivative of x is 2t because x is t squared. Make sense? I hope it does. And now uh, we pretty much got our integral uh, turned into the following. e to the power square root of x is e to the t multiplied by dx, which is 2t dt. 2t or not 2t. Okay. Anyway, so we can go ahead and take the... I don't know, take the 2 out, and then this is going to give us t e to the t dt. It's usually better to write the t first, no big deal, but uh, since we're going to use the di method here, uh, it's going to be a little better to keep it on the left. Okay, so here's how the di method works. So I'm going to make a table with two columns. The leftmost column is going to be d, and the other one is going to be i. So d means differentiate, i means integrate. Makes sense? So this means differentiate and this means integrate. Hopefully that you'll remember that. So I'm going to, uh, on the left column, I'm going to put my t, which is a function uh, that is a polynomial or linear one. And, and that is easy to differentiate. And actually that's going to disappear after a while. So it's going to become zero or vanish. And the other function is automatically determined, but it should also be easily integrable. Is that how you say it? It's easy to integrate. Okay, cool. And the next step is just on the left, keep differentiating on the right, keep integrating. And you got to do it mentally, but you'll get used to it. Differentiate t, you get 1. Differentiate 1, you get 0. Awesome. Integrate e to the t, which is super duper easy itself, and integrate one more time. You can integrate a million times. You're always going to get the same thing, which is what's cool about it. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the signs. Plus sign, minus sign, and plus sign. By the way, this doesn't matter because we're not going to use the zero. But if you want completeness, you can do that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of diagonal thing, which we do with matrices. Remember how you determine determinants or, okay, evaluate it, whatever. So you're going to go like this and you're going to go like that. Diagonal means multiply and consider the plus minus signs in the front. All right, so our integral, to keep a long story short, is going to be two times, don't forget the two on the outside, uh, two times t e to the t. Notice that I'm multiplying these two things. That's a plus sign. Everything is good. And then minus, minus one times e to the t 
and that basically concludes our integral. I'm not putting this C yet because I'm do, I'll do it at the end. So that's my integral, but now back substitute T is equal to square root of X and we get square root of X e to the power square root of X minus e to the power square root of X. If, if you want to really, really want to put a C, go ahead and do it. Some people are very picky about C and some professors are extremely crazy about it. And if you don't put it, they don't give you any points. At least they take off some points. Okay, so constants are important. Uh, that is the right hand side. How about the left hand side? Okay, cool. It's very simple. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, but let me tell you, can I just give it to you without further ado? We're gonna get the following. I probably need a longer arrow here. So on the left hand side, the integral is gonna look like this. So I'm gonna give it to you. Of course, we have a two in the front which you can cancel out by the way, but anyways, negative square root of y e to the power negative square root of y minus everything is going to be like negated because of the negative square root of y and these two things are equal. By the way, c can be called 2c instead of c we can write 2c because 2c is also constant. Divide everything by 2 and you'll get a you know, somewhat simpler equation. So this is what you're going to get after division by 2 you're going to get this. Okay? Awesome. Can we solve for y? Mm, that's going to be super duper painful. Well, let me tell you something. You can take out e to the power negative square root of y on both sides. And actually, you could probably keep this negative. So inside, we're going to get a positive quantity. Here, you can basically put out this one and square root of x minus 1 and then plus c. You can do the a little bit of uh, Lambert's w function stuff and I'm pretty sure you're going to get something at the end, okay? You can check it out and please let me know what you find, but it can be done. That's a little bit of complications, but, you know, um, it can be done. Okay, so the method that we used here is basically based upon what is called integration by parts. So let me go ahead and quickly show you what that looks like. The DI method actually really, really simplifies it. But the substitution, obviously, is also super duper helpful. By the way, we don't have to use it. We can also just go off of UDV stuff, but uh, it just simplifies a little bit. Anyways, so after we substituted t equals square root of x, remember, we got an integral that is that looks like this, t e to the t dt. So let's forget about the other integral and just totally focus on integrating this one, okay? Because since I want to show you the method, and by the way, I didn't know that you could kind of do this partial, but anyways, no big deal. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and focus on this now. How do you integrate something like this? Uh, we're going to use the same thing, but this time we call this u dv, and that is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And guess what? Where this comes from? It comes from the product rule. If you think about the product rule, then you're going to get it. Differentiate both sides, you're going to get the product rule. That's how it works. And from here, basically, I'm going to call this u. This is going to be dv because that's easily integrable. And then this is supposed to give me, uh, if u is equal to t, you know, um, then it's just going to be t multiplied by v, which is e to the t, minus the integral of v, which is e to the t, times du, which is dt. So it's going to be e to the power t dt. And this is going to be just e to the t so this is going to be the answer. Make sense? Fairly easy. You can do it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.